Hi, this is Michael Branson Smith. I'm going to give a tutorial on how to use GIMP and MPEG Stream Clip to make a, your first animated GIF if you've never made one before. Um, MPEG Stream Clip is a simple video converter and editor. Um, editing, and I mean in the lightest terms of editing, you're only going to be able to do something as simple as uh, uh, basically stripping down to the one piece of the clip you want to use. And GIMP is a, is a pretty rich uh, open source uh, image editor. Um, I'm going to be using the Mac version and if you've uh, never used uh, GIMP on um, OS X, uh, recognize that it actually requires X11. Um, so if you're on, a, on either a Leopard or Snow Leopard, which is 10.5 and 10.6, you won't even have to think about it because X11 is installed and don't be surprised if you see X11 open. Um, Alright, so those have been downloaded. So let's look at, uh, I'm going to be working with a uh, first we gotta find a sample of a of a movie that we want to loop and I'm gonna use this um, this moment from the movie uh, Major League so I'm gonna open ma the movie Major League uh, from <clears throat> in uh, MPEG stream clip now um, how do you get your movies so there's a bunch of different ways you know you can if you have a DVD, there's a lot of ripping tools. You can actually also uh, download videos from YouTube or and otherwise. There's actually a new version of MPEG Stream Clip where you can actually uh, pull video directly from uh, YouTube into the application, but that'll have to be on another tutorial. So, but right now I have this uh, version of uh, Major League that I've ripped, and I'm gonna find this moment at the very end of the movie where. Um, the, the character played by uh, Charlie Sheen, uh, Vaughn, is, uh, is coming in to close the game and he's facing his, uh, his nemesis, uh, this New York Yankee, Haywood, who, who's blasted every fastball he's ever thrown at him. And so, but Haywood comes into the box and he, he has his little routine of swinging the bat and, and spitting some chew and I, I thought he'd make a pretty good loop. And I have to find him, which is right around... Let's see here. So there's our crazy Charlie Sheen. I guess that's appropriate these days. There he is. All right. So now as you get to the point where you're about to find one of the things that's useful is, you know, you're going to have to create a, um, the part that you want to copy and paste or trim down to. Right now, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm, I'm actually pressing the right arrow and left arrow so I can go frame by frame forward. And so there he is. He spits. He spits. He swings. He spits. And so I'm going to just get that first spit and swing. Pretty awesome, right? And I'm going to be looping that. So right here, I'm going to make what's called an in point, all right? You can do that by going um, uh, shift uh, s select an endpoint right here, or you can hit the letter I. Okay, so edit select in, and then you can frame by frame go forward. And I'm just holding down that key, and the bat's back up. I'll try about there. Or again, edit, select out. All right. Now I have my piece I like. So we're going to go and trim this. Okay. And now all I have is this little piece. And that's it. That's all I have. Very small piece. So now we have to, to turn this into a, what's called an image sequence. Uh, so video is made of frame by frame images and we're going to export this as a sequence a list of Im of these images that are numbered and M uh, MPEG stream does that for us mm -hmm. so we're going to go to file export to other formats and we're going to say image sequence and we're going to click on options now this is where you you, you make a, a couple decisions one is a format um, tips an uncompressed format so I like to use that but um, this is the more important uh, uh, decision is is the number of frames a video is uh, by standard typically either uh, uh, 24 25 or 30 frames per second and if you have a long clip and 
and you want to, and you're concerned about the size of it, because ultimately all these frames are going to be built into this animated GIF, and that animated GIF is going to get really big if you have too many frames. So we're going to actually throw away a bunch of frames, and instead of doing 30 frames per second, we're going to do, uh, let's say we're going to do 10 frames per second. So it's going to throw away two out of every three frames. And the motion still should be successful. And that's all we're going to do, and I'm going to say OK. And I have to pick a place to, I'm going to just put this for now on my desktop. And I'm going to make a new folder, which is very useful because it's going to about to shove a whole bunch of images into a folder. So we'll say major spit. Um, Haywood choose. And hit save. And basically what's happened is... Um, we have made a, a sequence right now of 20 images in a row, one through 20, that are going to make up this animated GIF. And that's the, now we're done with MPEG screen clip, and we can uh, move on to, to GIMP. So let's do that. GIMP's a pretty rich, uh, uh, so here's where I was describing. Here's X11. Open it up. Whoops. Open up my other screen. So let's bring this over. Let's close this. So I'm going to do later tutorials on how we're going to use this to make simple uh, additions of like text and things like that for design projects. For those that uh, want to do some design projects for DS106. So, um, but it, it's built on X11. So that's actually the active app, even though GIMP is also an active application. Um, but it's X11 that through uh, GIMP is, is actually running. And there's no file window uh, that you're used to seeing in uh, typical Mac OS uh, 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 document. It's all run through the, the, the window where you're going to be making um, your, uh, doing your edits. So I'm going to do file, open, and then in this area, we're going to open as layer. So we're going to take, it's going to open all those 20 uh, images, those little, uh, TIFF files into one layered uh, workspace. So open as layers. And uh, I'm going to find them on my desktop. And I'm just going to use, I'm going to highlight all these using the shift key. So I scroll down and hold down the shift key Oops. and say open. And this is annoying where you have it. Asked to assign it to an RGB workspace, and I'm going to click this 20 times. Lots of conversation. Almost there. All right. So we're actually almost done. Now, it is probably a good idea to resize this. Um, so it, it doesn't end up. Uh, quite so big, so we might want to, uh, scale this image so it's not, I think this is, we'll see what size it is, it's 688, so I'm going to, I'm going to bring this down to 580 so it actually fits in my, uh, website really well, and it automatically adjusts the height, uh, so it was 688 by 416 pixels, and it's now 580 by 351, so it auto, once I tab down, so we're going to scale this, and it scales all the picture, all those JPEGs in that layers. And you can see all the layers are right here in this palette on the right. All right, well, we're not going to worry about that because this is, we're not going to go deep into this app at all. So now we're done, and we're now we need to export this as a as a GIF, and we do that by going File, Save As, and we have to select uh, the file type that we're going to. So select File Type, and it's by extension. And you have to find GIF, and there's GIF. And we're going to uh, say, hey, would choose is the name of this. I'm going to save. And there's a few more things that we have to do. Save. And this is very important. We want this to be an animation. If we, it was just a flattened image, it's going to just save the one image on the top of all the layers. So we want to save as an animation. Export. It does a little work. And I don't need a GIF comment. But we want to make sure that this thing loops forever. All right. And we say save. And now, let's have a look and see how we did. So on the desktop, we have our GIF. I'm going to open it in our browser. 
and there it is. So it's pretty good loop. I think I did this last night and did a little bit better job, but uh, I, it's it's a, it's a good loop, and it keeps spitting away forever. So this is um, Michael Branson Smith, and uh, that's my quick tutorial on making an animated GIF with uh, MPEG Stream Clip and GIMP.